Hello and welcome to the Master Civil Engineering. In this video, we will learn how to calculate the point bearing resistance of a pile using Vesix method. The question is shown above, which states that consider a 12 meter long concrete pile with a cross section of 0.6 meter times 0.6 meter, fully embedded in a medium dense sand. For the sand given unit weight gamma equals 16 kN per meter cube and soil friction angle phi prime equals 38 degree. Estimate the point bearing capacity by Vesix method. First we will see what is given in the question. Unit weight of soil equals gamma equals 16 kN per meter cube. Soil friction angle equals phi prime equals 38 degree. Length of pile equals 12 meter. Effective vertical stress at pile tip equals Q prime equals gamma times L, which equals 16 times 12, which is equal to 192 kilopascal. Point bearing capacity by Vesix method is given as QP is equal to AP times sigma prime times N sigma where AP is cross sectional area of pile and is equal to 0.6 times 0.6 which is equal to 0.36 meter square. Sigma prime is mean effective normal ground stress at the level of pile point and is given as 1 plus 2 times 1 minus sine phi prime divided by 3 into Q prime. Putting values of phi prime and Q prime, we get the value of sigma prime equal to 113.2 kilopascal. N sigma is bearing capacity factor and according to Vesic's theory, it is a function of I double R, where I double R is a reduced rigidity index. Before calculating the reduced rigidity index, we need to calculate some other parameters of the soil. First, for medium dense sand, M is equal to 250. Atmospheric pressure is assumed as 100 kilopascal. Modulus of elasticity of soil is given as ES equals MPA, which is equal to 250 times 100, which is equal to 25,000 kilopascal. Poison's ratio of soil is given as mu S equals 0 0.1 plus 0 0.3 times 5 prime minus 25 divided by 20. Putting values of phi prime, we get the value of poisons ratio equal to 0 0.295. Now the average volumetric strain in the plastic zone below the pile point is given as delta is equal to 0 0.005 times 1 minus phi prime minus 25 divided by 20 times Q prime divided by PA. Putting values of phi prime, Q prime and PA we get the value of delta equal to 0 0.00336. Now the rigidity index is given as IR equals ES divided by 2 times 1 plus mu S times Q prime times tan phi prime. Putting values we get the value of rigidity index equal to 64.35. Now the value of reduced rigidity index for soil is given as I double R equals I R divided by 1 plus I R times delta. Putting values of I R and delta we get the value of I double R equal to 52.91. Now to calculate the bearing capacity factor n sigma we have to use the Vesic bearing capacity table. The Vesic bearing capacity table is shown, and we can see that in the it requires two parameters to calculate the bearing capacity factor. First is the phi prime, and second is the I double R, that is the reduced rigidity index. Our value of phi prime is equal to 38 degree, which lies here, and the value of I double R is equal to 52.91, which is calculated in the previous step. The value of 52.91 lies between 40 and 60, so we have to interpolate between these two values to find the value of bearing capacity factor. So for phi prime equals 38 degree and I double R equal to 40, value of N sigma is equal to 70.03 from the table. And for phi prime equals 38 degree and 
i double r equals 60 the value of n sigma is equal to 86.05 now from interpolation for pi prime equals 38 degree and i double r equal to 52.91 the value of n sigma is equal to 80.37 after calculating the value of n sigma now we can calculate the point bearing capacity of pile the point bearing capacity is given as ap times sigma prime times n sigma putting values we get the value of point bearing capacity equal to 3275.24 kilo newtons so this represents the procedure how can we calculate the value of point bearing capacity of pile using basics method i hope you guys like this video and if you find this video helpful please subscribe to the channel and press the bell notification thanks for watching and see you in the next video